Alrighty, now we're gonna be covering the regular patch. If you like, I'm not gonna be covering the Korean balance patch in this video uh, because I made a separate video which I will leave in the pinned comment. I feel like uh, it was good to separate it because otherwise this video would be like over half an hour long. I'd really like to keep these patch notes a bit shorter. So if you're interested in the balance patch, check the pinned comment. And if you're interested in the patch of both a global NA and a Korean server, Korean server has good news. I heard the event is apparently massive. So yeah, stick around. So for global NA, uh, this is a no maintenance patch. So the changes are very minimal. First of all, we do get a new banner for the Fire Beast Monk, which I've already tested yesterday. You can check that out in the channel. Also, we're getting a new collection challenge. Uh, the collection challenges will work differently now. Uh, they basically appear every week instead of all four collection challenges dropping uh, at a single point at the start of the season. So yeah, basically... You will see one quest, you can complete it for 28 days, then you will see another quest on the August 10th. That one you will be able to complete until the 31st, then on the 17th and on the 24th. Basically every week you will be getting add in one, but if you choose to, uh, you can complete all four of them uh, on the last week. And this week's challenges look like this, so any fish 50 super easy. Uh, these are a bit annoying to get, like... Uh, Naraka's Claw, Rhodes Greatsword, Kalia's Eyeball, you will need to farm raids for these, you will need to farm Path of Gold for these, but the reward is definitely worth it, that's quite a lot of gold, 130, 300, 700, 100, yeah, that's almost 2 million gold if you complete uh, the whole thing. Now, for the events, we are finally getting the Cloud Iceland, uh, I don't know what they did, they promised this event to arrive last week, since they mentioned it coming out in July. Looks like they miscalculated, but hey, I won't hold it against them too much. It's just a bit of a shame that no communication was done on that part for a whole week, especially after they missed it. But yeah, Cloud Island event. In this one, you are able to get four wind sills for free, and then you are able to get three additional ones if you do spend some money in the game. Wind sills got a massive buff they're gonna be meta units uh, once the hero dates come out so definitely don't sleep on this event and yeah we're gonna test it out i'm gonna probably make a video about uh the math behind this event because the tasks are a bit like weird uh the event works a bit weirdly compared to the rest so yeah i feel like explanation could be useful so stick around for that at the end of the day uh, we'll also get a guild request event, so this is the one where you have to complete 20 uh, guild requests across the week, and you can get a 5 star devil one in the end. That's about it for global and NA patch, uh, because these patches circulate, basically uh, one week global and NA gets a big patch, and the other week Korea gets a big patch. Uh, this video will mostly be focused on the Korean patch. Uh, there is the anniversary event starting today. Later today, it's not live yet from what I've seen. Uh, because this is the Korean server and the event is not live yet. Uh, events usually get activated like a day after. So uh, yeah, expect a video on that as well because the event is apparently massive. And for the regular patch, so uh, the balance patch we already covered in the separate video. You can check that in the pinned comment. We're gonna go past that into the new stuff. Okay, notes on the first anniversary event. Uh, the first anniversary thanks summon scald can be obtained from the first anniversary attendance uh, scheduled after the 817 attention. Wait, so you can't even use them for like two weeks. You can only get them. Usually, uh, the way these special scrolls work is you either get to select a summoner that, like a monster that you want to try to summon, or you get like sort of a double summon, a triple summon, and you choose which monster you want to choose. That's usually how they do anniversary events in Sky Arena. We'll see how it works here. This is the first anniversary, so they better not uh, screw up on this one. First Anniversary Medal can be used in the First Anniversary Festival draw, scheduled to open on the 
11th of August, okay? To obtain three five-star Delmons, sure. Three blessing <laughs> it's uh this is probably I'm guessing these are the fining. You see now they added the maximization blessings, but I feel like these are the ones that reset the blessing. Uh three definement accelerators, so basically the fine catalysts for your gear, uh, various crafting materials, uh and more. Okay, so first anniversary intense. They only show us the first page, but I'm predicting, because look at the date, uh, until October 13th, that's over a two month long event. This definitely must have like four pages at minimum. So yeah, we'll have to check that out later today once it actually comes out. If you collect the first anniversary medals, the summons will pour out. They sure will. Yeah, so three mystical scrolls. These are the special scrolls for the event. Again, we can't really check uh, how they work just yet. First anniversary is festival draw. Oh, this is giving me busted flashbacks. Don't make it bad, please. Looks like... Oh, it doesn't say how much you need to over... But I mean, we'll see it in English uh, soon enough. There's really no need to speculate as I will cover in around exactly like 8 to 10 hours. Yeah. Collect first anniversary. Okay, this one looks like also lasts for two months. Wow, this event is long. Collect first anniversary medals and receive gifts. Okay, so this uh, looks like energy. So 100 energy. I'm guessing this is a weekly limit. So around 3000 energy per week. Not difficult actually, because uh, the current Huaki event that is happening actually requires you to collect close to 7,000 uh, energy per week, so this is definitely not too difficult. Other tasks we'll check out uh, once it comes out, there's no point in translating from Korea just yet. Again, lasts for two months. Damn. And there is the guild, the quest event. I mean, we have that too, there's nothing new here. New outfit, there we go. A great pirate captain costume that can transform into an outlaw of the sea is added. I mean, you nerf Galleon and then you give an outfit. How much of a hit to my self-esteem is that, huh? Like, how can I trust you? <laughs> a costume 6 set effect is added according to the addition of the equipment appearance. Ooh, oh, 6 set effect. That means that you will probably need a full outfit on your summoner plus the two weapons, I'm guessing in order to get the bonus. Both set... Oh, wait, do you get multiple bonus? Nice. Both set effects. So, increases the HP of night type summons by 600. Um, I don't have too many good night types in Korea. I think the Wind Paladin, but it should be a pretty big buffs. Uh, I mean, Ariel is a night type. What else? The Beetle, I believe. The Wind Beetle is a night type. I think the Water Beetle is a night type. There are quite a few good night type units. And now the 6 set effect actually boosts that HP by 1.1k. Ho ho ho, that is big. So yeah, I'm guessing this uh, is a costume on your summoner and 6 set is your costume plus the two weapons. Okay, Kina, that looks sick. Oh my god, don't tell me Kina is the only one with the parrot. I want my parrot on my cliff as well. Orbia, yo, cliff. Literally a galleon, quite literally a galleon, okay. And Soleda uh, looks like misfortune from uh, the Forbidden game, if you know what I mean. Main quest, oh, I forgot, main quests are added. Act 7, Act 7? Hold up, we're in Korea. Oh, what is that? Talk to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, that's the good part about playing in Korea, right? We can explore that right off the bat. Whoa, what's this? Illusion mirror, a magical mirror with the power to reflect your imagination. It is particularly popular amongst outfit craftsmen. Oh, wait, cra overlays? Oh, we'll have to check that out. Okay, uh, the quest, 30,000 sky stones, angel mon. What is this? Lake scenery scope overlay, a place, a placid sub weapon overlay crafted by human blacksmith. It helps control the water attribute. What? Some transcendence materials, some gold, a bow. What's this late scene in the bow overlay? A placid weapon overlay crafted by a human blacksmith. 
It helps control the water attribute. What is that? Okay, some uh, gemstones. Ooh, come to us. Oh, hello there. Hello there. So, on each summoner, you can expect another 20 light and dark scrolls and 40 mystical scrolls. And yeah, these ones are also legendary scroll 800. I'm curious to see what those items do, yeah? Okay, Act 7 of the Rahil Kingdom story takes place in Kantana and two new dungeons, Tomb of Magic and Lake of Reflection. Cool, we'll have to check those out as well. Uh, raid. The currency required to enter additional elite raids has been changed from crystals to energy. You can enter one additional diamond for 150 energy. I mean, that is literally the same cost. That is literally the same cost. Because it will take you 750 crystals to get it. Uh, the profession, the Professor Lunar Caring buff applied when entering 1 and 2 person raids is reduced by about 10%. I can understand that, trust me, raids were way too easy. We were doing a Faga Kill raid with a 250,000 power ally. That should not be happening. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Uh, Parakel's minion defense has been reduced by 20. Parakel, I'm getting this is Farakel. So minions are easier. Way easier. Okay. They were already like one shots, but sure. The following rewards will be added when playing in a party, excluding battle support. So, Foggy Prison will give you 2000 gold, 500 drilling stones, 8... Wait, what? Hold up, nah, wait, let me go to the raid menu. I'm a bit confused here. So, support. Battle support, okay. This doesn't change. Yeah, these don't change. Um... Party the world stay the same. So I'm a bit confused. Maybe they do mean this. Nope. This is still the same. I am confused what they mean by this. The following rewards will be added when playing in a party excluding battle support. In a party. Oh, so basically it just encourages you playing in a party. I mean 8 coins. Sorry, come to us. You are not convincing me to play in a party for 8 foggy prison coins. No. No, 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 this is garbage. This is this is useless. All of this is useless. Uh, Hero Date Season 2 begins. Uh, it's not live yet. We'll have to wait until the end of the week. But yeah. <laughs> oh, this name is amazing. Yeah, so looks like... White Shadow Castle, okay. The problem is, we only had White Shadow Castle once. I don't know why, look at that. Foggy Prison Boiling Waterfall, right? It changes. Then you get a random white shadow castle, and then it's back to foggy and boiling again. So, white shadow castle will be pretty much every. Se what did I do? Oh my god! Okay, I'm back. Uh, white shadow castle, twisting bog. This most likely means twisted marsh. So, twisted marsh will be added to the hero raids. I'm scared. I'm scared of this one. Personally, for me, out of the Naraka and Foggy Prison, Naraka was definitely the easier one. Foggy Prison was... It's not, let's say, like, hard to lose, but it's very RNG dependent. Like, if the boss starts targeting one of your squishier units or the units that you really need, he can two-shot, three-shot that unit and you just pretty much lose the run. So, yeah, I wasn't a fan of the Foggy Prison. Uh, we'll see how it works out with Shri White Shadow Castle and this one. Three of heroes! Hero raid! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Now that is what I'm not looking forward towards. Okay, now we'll have to test that out. Yeah, we'll, I'll test it out for sure. Uh, this is like an old one, but we will still do it. Twisted Marsh and Three of Heroes will have to test out on uh, video. Hero Raid Season 2 Mythical Accessories are added. Okay, well, what do they do? Does the immunity still uh, stay? Season 1, Legacy of this... Wait, Season 2? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? Oh. Oh, okay, so wait. This is the old... Okay, so previously, during the season bonus, 
it had eight seconds now it will only keep the five okay wait so there's a whole different set it looks like okay let's see element of thunderstorm starts battle with five now wait before that i wonder if this will come back or are these like, oh, you did it once and <laughs> goodbye forever, go spend on another set. Because that would be very bad. I hope they do come back every like a few seasons. Okay, this one. Starts battle with 5 mana. Nah, that's broken. That's broken. That's broken. Starts battle with 5 mana! Are you good? I'm sorry, I don't even need to read further. Start battle with 5 mana? Lad. Bruv. Chomp. What? Start battle with 5 mana. In arena and conquest battles, not siege basically, uh, but then mana degeneration rate is reduced by 50% for 10 seconds. That does not matter. That does not matter. That does not matter. 5 mana. That is so OP. You literally won't be able to play against this. And you can't even use your strip, not not the strip, the uh, immunity set, because your immunity is worthless when someone has 5 mana. It'll just perma strip, like instantly strip it. In arena, like when the season ends, this set, look at this, this is complete garbage. This is gonna be unusable because you already start with like two and a bit mana. So this is gonna be trash. But this? Oh, I hate this, I hate it. The problem I hate this is not because of the effect. Like if everyone gets the effect, it's cool. It looks like they are trying to force us to build a new accessory set every rotation. And one rotation is what? Like... Uh, how long is the season lasting? Like two months or something? I don't want to be building a new accessory set, especially mythic accessories, every two months. They are expensive, bro. They cost more to power up than six star three awakening sets. So I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I really hope they come back after some time because I don't want to be building different sets every time. Okay, the other one. Destroys a certain amount of destroyed HP when a recovery skill is applied to teammates in Arena and Conquest Wars. 6% of maximum HP plus 4% season bonus. 10% max HP destroy. See, I feel like... So, this, the 5 uh, second immunity... And the destruction, like, these look very good for even off-season bonuses. But, like, I mean, how are you gonna counterplay this? Like, I love this set. This is amazing. 6% uh, destroy reduction. Like, Arena and Siege is so destroy heavy. It's so destroy heavy that this is gonna be super broken. But this is even more broken. So how am I... I don't know. I'm personally... From what I'm seeing, I am definitely gonna be using this. This, I don't, I don't see any other buff that they could like, while keeping balance, do. That would be this because destroy meta is just so insane, and being able to recover destroy is gonna be game changing. Okay, destructive health recovery works even when there is no recovery amount due to undead. Yeah, make it even more OP. Sure. Raid coins prod shop products are changed. Uh, we can't check these yet because this will come with the new hero raid. But yeah, uh, earrings. Yeah, so basically just the new set for 600. Really no changes here because it's already the same here as you can see. Uh, you get all of the hero gears for 600 coins. So it's just the set is gonna change. Bro, this. This is broken. This is lovely. Oh my god, I can't wait. Okay, Legacy Sun and Legacy of the Moon equipment sold previously will end. Yeah, so no longer sold. Okay, equipment, 6-star Mythic Grade accessories. 
so the new sets will be added the equipment synthesis list will be added in the next update synthesis list what okay battlefield sky waterfall island and sunset island maps are changed two guard towers are added to the flags close to allies two wait what do guard tower wait sky waterfall is the is it the capture the flag oh wait i'm confused let me check real quick uh battlefield where are you about so sunset island is the uh, league of legends map so sky waterfall is the what's it called the capture the flag so two guard towers are added to the flags close to allies so does the one point become two now the guard tower will the oh wait no it's just a separate mechanic the guard tower will deactivate 60 seconds after being destroyed. Wait, this is capture the flag. What? Okay. Uh, obstacles are installed on the stairs going up from the central area to the outer areas on both sides. Wait, obstacles are installed on the stairs? Oh, because you, you would have to jump on one of them. So I'm guessing now both of the sides will have stairs. That's pretty good because uh the way you go at the opponents at the start of the battle like you use a portal to the side and then you just go to their base and you just stand there because they actually can't come down to you or rather come up to you and you're sort of either waiting there for the opponent to leave and the opponent is waiting for you to leave or you have to go into the battle and then uh, the opponent can destroy your tower so yeah that's this is a good change this is a good change the light dark property that will boom summon from the unstable summoning device can pass through obstacles. Sure. Uh, the conditions for purchasing bike frame, eh, doesn't matter. Battleground ranking season rewards are changed as follows. Oh, they finally buffed the rewards. Because the seasons uh, last 28 days now. So they essentially quadruple the rewards of every single rank. Yeah. So even if you don't get anything, you get 120k sky stones participation although i am unranked and i did battles so you might actually have to be top 100 to even get this it says participation rewards but look at that my current rank is unranked so you most likely need to get top 100 to even uh get this looks like they might have miscalculated that a bit guild breakthrough weekly seasonal guild breakthrough will be held guild breakthrough can only be done when you join a regular hill not a hill academy the season starts every tuesday at 5 a.m and ends monday uh, with settlement and rest from monday to tuesday so similar to guild raid you can score points by defeating enemies that come in for three minutes you can challenge unlimited number of times during a season and the votes are selected based on your highest score the votes for each category are as follows. Illusion mirrors. What are these? I think we'll have to find out in a second. But yeah, uh, you get 1.5k breath of life. This is sky stones, I believe. Enhancement fragments. So these are definitely not repeatable, the quest. Oh yeah, yeah. Highest, highest score achieved. Okay. Guild ranking the words. Uh, so rank 1 will get Devil Moon piece 5. Oh, that is a lot of crystals. Devil Mons, like, this is useless, but, whoa, that is a lot of crystals. So let's say we get, like, on 3, yeah? 2.4k crystals, that's pretty good. Pretty good. And can you enter it with guildies? Uh, is it available? I need to check this. It is available! Whoa, what are these? Okay, I'll have to test them out uh, separately. Let's move on with the patch. Okay, we check the words. Encyclopedia. Uh, new season 2 is in progress. Ah, collection challenge. Okay. Weapon and sub weapon equipment appearance change. So, allows you to change the appearance of weapons and sub weapons is added. Equipment appearance is added to the wardrobe and appearance creation and preview are available. Due to the addition of weapon and sub weapon appearance changes, 6 set effects are added. Let us check that. So, apparently, you go to the closet. Appearance change. No, wait. Equipment overlay. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at the bow. Oh. Oh. 
Yo! Yo! Whoa! I don't think you get these bonuses. These are the bonuses from the other, like, uh, outfits. Oh, look at those bows. There's so many different ones. Each outfit has a separate... Yo, this looks sick. This looks sick. Okay, we'll, we'll have to go through those as well. We'll have to go through those as well, sure. Okay, profession. In profession, processing the limit of the number of attack. Yeah, the infinity durability stone crafting, basically. No longer 20 daily limit. Uh, guild fishing spot will be added to the item descriptions. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, raid, the hero raid achievements below are added. So, hero white castle raid. Hero raid, defeat meters and white scale. What are these achievements? I have never seen achievements ever. What are the achievements exactly? I have zero clue. Not sure. Uh, oh, maybe, wait, maybe it's in the book? Collection book, right? No, monster book, monster book. Not monster book, creature book. Um, yeah, no, I don't know what they mean by achievements. Yeah, not sure. Uh, quest summon skill simplified tutorial just before entering L Ludlin. <laughs> Ludlin village uh, is disabled. Some of the information about conditions are unlocking Saleta. Sure, sure, sure. This is just miscellaneous changes. Rift. Upon entering the rift, automatic progression is improved to be activated by default. So these are uh, the first two ruptures. Basically, auto is enabled by uh, default whenever you enter. Although auto is still not possible in some of the stages, so that works, I guess. Uh, some of the uh, rewards for the Conqueror of the Sky will be changed. Yeah, so secret dungeons no longer exist, so they are obviously changing into energy. Achievements. There's 365 day attendance achievement awards will be changed from one mystical scroll to one to the title. Oh, oh, achievements. These ones. So where's the raid then? Let me see. Uh, adventure. I'm guessing here. Is there a raid one? I mean, I already completed, so it might be finished, right? Is there a raid one? Any raid? Uh, look at this. Defeat. Yeah, I'm guessing I already finished these. Because I can't really find them in here. And maybe I got compensation for that? No, I didn't. So I don't know what the achievements were. Uh, sure. And then there's a lot of bug fixes. Yeah, summonings, issues, gold issues. Guild issues, not gold. Party Dungeons, Path of Growth. Yeah, this is just bugs issues. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Okay, interesting. And now, for the most far part. The Chronicles first anniversary event. Oh, okay. Someone else, do you know what day 16th of August is? Oh, you bet we do. Thank you for giving Chronicles a lot of interest and love during the precious time of one year. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the summoners. It's not enough to express my gratitude. Yeah, let's skip to the fun part. Hey, 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 look at that. Champagne and all that. Boom. Week one. So this... I'm guessing this is week one. I don't know. This sort of implies it's August 1st, but whatever. So, uh, the two month ones are the first anniversary attendance. You can get five star options, most likely a five star selection ticket, transcendence scroll, 70 light, not light, no, 70 first anniversary thank you scroll, so those selection scrolls, right? Light and dark legend scroll, not a regular one, legend scroll, love that. First Anniversary Mendel Collection, so yeah, this one we'll check out soon. Collect First Anniversary Medals, and the main reward here is another 30 scrolls. 128 Mystical Scrolls. Three Legendary Summons! Oh, these are not Light and Dark, I got excited, I thought these are Light and Dark Legend Scrolls. Nah, three Legend uh, Scrolls. 
first anniversary Kairos Temple. Uh, we already have this on all of the servers. Uh, we already have this. And with the summoner first anniversary celebration. I think this is sort of like a forum event or something, right? So nothing special there. Oh wait, that was only week one. Oh wow. Okay, now first anniversary gift. 50,000 crystals. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, up to 4,000 energy. Cool. Uh, various events and growth goods. Fire, water, wind, 5 star summon rate up. What does that mean? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? Fire, water, and wind. 5 star summon rate up. Can you choose a monster? Because that would be sick. Imagine you are able to choose a banner you want. I, I don't know what that means, honestly. 5 star summon... Or maybe like elemental scrolls get a boost in summoning grades. But yeah, we'll have to see like uh, after the date is here. Rahil Kingdom founding anniversary festival. First anniversary medal. Transformation potion. I'm guessing this, could this refer to the, uh, what's it called, um, changing how you look, basically, that uh, outfit change ticket, right? Growth goods, all of that. Five star options, so another five star selection ticket, I'm guessing? 150 first anniversary, thank you, scrolls. Three legendary little slide and dark <laughs> Hold up. Orb of Maximization, so this is the 100% blessing. Five five star devil mons. First anniversary Harpu transformation. Whoa. Okay. Six six star legendary runes. Meh, whatever. Uh 30,000. Okay, uh oh, only a few players, so pretty much not getting anything. Uh Chronicle Lover Awards Limited Edition Event Title. Four light and dark legendary scrolls. And like, what, 250 of these? Bunch of mystical scrolls. Bunch of crystals, bunch of energy. This is gonna be big. This is gonna be very, very big. Yeah, wow. Okay, we'll check the more details about that event later today. But yeah, that's about it. And exciting changes coming. Peace.